nothing changes. Welcome to a new Best Unknown Indie Games of December 2018. My name is Mendes and December is a great month to find some new unknown indie games. Maybe in this list you'll find some games that you didn't know about. Their first game on the list is Foundation, developed by Polymar Games and also published by Polymar Games. It's going to be released on Steam only at the moment, but maybe your console gamers will be lucky because this is the medieval skyline city. Foundation is a gritless sprawling medieval city building simulation with heavily focus on organic development, manual construction and resource management. In this game you will have complete freedom of how you construct your cities. It's not by the simple square blocks, no, you just mark the area and that's your villagers will build slowly around that area so you can live your complete freedom in this game. The inhabitants will build and harvest their resources in the marked position you mark. This will give you complete freedom of building the city just like you want it. This game has been inspired by Crusader Kings 2, Settlers and SimCities and some other great good old classics. So it will give you the ultimate medieval building experience. Will you lay the foundation of a thriving and prosperous society in this medieval city builder? Foundation will be released in the first quarter of 2019. You can still back the game in Kickstarter, so check them out in the link down below. I also put a link down below for the Steam, so you can put this game in your wish list and plan ahead, make your castle just the way you want it. So for now, let's take a look at a few when the sun goes down at Foundations. Check it out now, Foundation, in your Steam wishlist. The next game on the list is Mutant Year Zero, Road to Eden. Developed by The Beardless Ladies and published by Funcom. This game is going to be released on PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. And if you look at this intro, you will not expect what this type of game this is. Because when I looked at it, I first thought this was going to be a shooter. A real time shooter, first person shooter. With some crazy mutants in it. But that wasn't the case at all. Mutant Year Zero Road to Eden is a tactical adventure game combining the turn-based combat of XCOM with a story of exploration, stealth and strategy. Take control of a team of mutants and navigate to a post-human earth. In this game stealth is the key, sneak through the shadow to avoid conflict or catch enemies unaware. Real-time strategies allow you to turn control of approach sneaking into an enemy camp, position the team of your mutants into your advantage and gain the element of surprise. Journey to the post-human world of abandoned cities, crumbling highways and overgrown countryside. Nature has invaded the ruined cities, winds sweep through the empty streets, turning them into graveyards. Use the abilities of your mutants and place them into tactical positions to take out your enemies. So if you want to win a battle, use the abilities of your mutants. They got some quite some neat stuff. So let's check out what are the mutants in this game. You don't know who the hell you're messing with, do you? The first mutant in this game is Duck. He's got quite an attitude problem. And his special abilities are his mud wings. The second mutant is Bormin. He's quite a tough guy. Going to take enemies out with his rocket launchers. I'm Dux, and he's Bormin. And the last mutant we know is Salma. Special abilities: Stonekin. Here's the problem. 
Eden's a fairy tale. If Hammond thinks there's an Eden, there's an Eden. Believe me. Will you be able to find Eden? Use the exploration, follow the storyline, and use stealth because you're going to need it in this turn based XCOM like strategy game. If you like XCOM, check this game out. Put it in your wish list because it's coming out on the 4th of December. That's pretty soon. Next one on the list is Children of Morta. This game is coming out on PlayStation 4, Xbox One and Steam and is being developed by Deathmage and published by 11-Bit Studio. The Bergens family has watched over the mountain Morta for generations as the guardian of this mystical mountain and the land surrounding it, but they face their most dangerous trial as a family. Corruption has seeped into the mountain, spreading and morphing the once peaceful mountain into a violent monster infestation nightmare. Experience what it means to be a family of heroes to take part in their journey, their struggle and their victories. Witness the love each has for another, unmatched by even the god themselves. Fight through the hordes of unfamiliar beasts as you explore the darkness depths of this ever challenging mountain. Fight, protect and discover the truth behind the corruption. If you like a good adventure game, put this game in your wish list because you're going to hack and slash through it. Children of Morta. Another great game is Stoneheart. It's being developed by Radiant Entertainment and also published by Radiant Entertainment. It's going to be released on Steam for now, but maybe the console gamers will be lucky in the end of the year. We'll have to see that. In Stoneheart, you pioneer a living world full of warmth, heroes and mystery. Help a small group of settlers build a home for themselves in a forgotten land. You'll need to establish food supplies, build shelter, defend your people, monitor their moods and find ways to grow and expand, facing challenges at every step. The heart of the game is city building and management. When you just start out, You'll need to juggle all tasks at the same time, sustain food, building shelters, defend your people from the raiders and other threats. Once you've achieved a foothold in the world, it's up to you to write your people's destiny. You'll have the flexibility in this game to choose your own path. Do you want to build a great conquering empire, a vibrant trading city or a spiritual monastery? It's up to you, you can do it in this game. If you want to see more content about this game, I got a pre-alpha key, so I'll be showing a little let's preview of this game on this channel. Tell me in the comment down below what kind of kingdom I should build with Stoneheart. We already arrived at the last game of this list, The Battle of Polytopia, developed by Felix and published by Mityaban Abi. The Battle of Polytopia is a turn-based strategy game. It's a game about ruling the world, fight evil AI tribes and discover new land and mastering new technologies. Pick and choose among the different tribes, wander in the dark cold forest of Bulderia, explore the steamy Kiko jungles or claim the lush fields of the Imperialist Empire. Each map will take around 30 minutes to complete while providing a deeply strategic and challenging gameplay. It is intended to be a bit-sized alternative to other time-consuming 4x strategy games. The Battle of Polytopia is a successful indie title and joined by millions of fans on mobile and tablet and now it's going to be revamped for the desktop. If you already played this game on your phone, Put it in your wish list and check it out on Steam. And with that said, we're already in the end of this video. If you found your new game here, give me a like or put it in the comment down below. I really like to hear from you guys. And if you haven't found any games, check out the other videos on the top or the bottom. There might be another indie game you might not know about. And if you're new here, also subscribe. It really helps out the channel. See you next time at Best Unknown Indie Games.